shuffling on to our next topic, Bob Iger is an idiot because he thinks the issue with Marvel uh, in general is a dilution of the brand. It's not the content. Uh, they just made too much. Marvel streaming and sequel binge. Diluted focus and attention. Disney CEO Bob Iger says company pullback means spending less on what we make and making less. Well, I mean, good. You need to spend less on what you make. But it's not a dilution. It's garbage that you've been making. It's just garbage. Absolute garbage. So let's take a look at this. Disney already proving he's not the right man for the job. Already proving that. Disney CEO Bob Iger said Marvel Entertainment, whose acquisition in 2009 was a signature deal uh, of Iger's first stint at the company, was unfairly taxed during the company's frenzy to supply Disney Plus with fresh content. In a lengthy sit-down with CNBC's David Faber, uh, Iger addressed Marvel, as well as topics like sag after and WGA Strike, blah, 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 a looming revamp of the company's linear TV assets and the ongoing feud with Governor Roy, Rob blah, 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 DeSantis. Uh, along with Pixar and Lucasfilm, the CEO said that Marvel had been asked to do too much by Bob Chapek throwing him under the bus again. <laughs> it's not mm. like, oh my God, it's not like, not like this wasn't in, in, in the works when you left, you shit. Oh my you God! Liar. Iger's handpicked successor. Well, it shows he's a shit handpicker as well, doesn't it? I mean, my God, if true. Ah. Uh, anyway, so what did he say? Oh, what a my God! I hate this guy. I hate everyone that <laughs> just. How can you read this and not have common sense that this is all bollocks? In our zeal to basically grow our content significantly and serve our streaming offerings, we ended up taxing our people in terms of their time and their focus way beyond where they had been. Marvel is a great example of that. They had not been in the TV business at any significant level. Not only did they increase their movie output, but they ended up making a number of television series. That surge diluted focus and attention internally uh, and for audiences awash in new titles, Iger said, that is more the cause than anything else. It's not a problem from a personnel perspective. So the reason why they're bombing, according to uh, Daddy Iger, as Andre put it, <sighs> is that the surge diluted focus and attention, uh, and that is more the cause than anything else. So they made too much and people just... Uh, I, I don't really know what he's saying here. They made too much and diluted focus and attention internally. But then he says it's not a personnel issue. That doesn't make any sense. You you asked them to do stuff that they couldn't do. Is that what you're saying? What are you saying? Guys, help me out here. I mean, it's nonsense anyway. He's literally saying, crap, you, you just made garbage. That's what happened. I mean, he's basically trying to pass the buck like you said. He's trying to claim that he, they were forced to do too much, too soon, too fast. The same kind of crap he said with Star Wars. Mm. You know? But instead of actually taking the blame for that, he's passing the buck here, kind of. Political speak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, apparently, uh, this the CNBC Faber asked Iger if he regretted foregoing that longtime revenue source in order to prop up Disney+. Plus. If we hadn't done it, Everybody would be saying, why isn't Disney going to the streaming business? As it turns out, I think we made the right decision there to go into that business. It's not made any money. It's made no money. Zero money it's made. The lost money. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's got to say be, that. It's his baby. It'll be a growth business for us. Fucking <laughs> when? Well, yeah, when? when's it going to be a growth business? <laughs> by, the, by the end of the calendar. We will turn it around, he says. I'm confident of that. <laughs> Sorry. By by the end of the by the end of the calendar year, it will be fourteen billion dollars in red ink. Well, well, he disagrees. Coach, he disagrees. It will be of value to us long term. Okay, so twenty thirty one. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. Oh my god! You, what you what do we think? You just said it. We just said it in the previous segment. You cannot make money this way. You can't make 50 million, 100 million, 200 million dollar productions and make money in streaming. It cannot be done. 
You have to use other people's <sighs> product and pay them a leasing fee. You cannot, oh you cannot make money this way. Doesn't work. Goodness me. Andre, you've been uh, quiet. I don't think he's back yet, is he? God damn it. Well, anyway, Nick, you want to chime in here, bud? Uh, Bob Iger's a joke. <laughs> delusional. Delusional. Uh, again, like I said before, what what company is he looking at? Because it's not Disney Plus or, or Disney as a whole. Uh, I mean, they're... I, everybody can see it. He he's like standing, you know, I, I, main, in the in, he's standing in the forest, but he can't see the forest <laughs> around him. It's it's laughable, absolutely. I laughable. just i i can't like uh, i can't believe what he's saying about. You know, he also said that the Marvel brand is not inherently off. You know. This is when he hmm. delivered his keynote speech. So he's reiterating those kind of things. He just he thinks it's absolutely fine. Marvel's How's those fine. Marvel projects been doing? Well, yeah, Ant Man, Ant Man barely crossed yeah. five hundred million. Was it? I mean, that's a loss, a huge loss. Oh my god! Oh the hilarity god. of it all is the only Marvel project in the last year to create any real true buzz has been Deadpool three, and that was a JPEG green light. And it's well, they, that's the other thing. I cannot believe that he threw him under the bus again. <sighs> Throwing him under the bus again. But he's not held to the fire. His feet are not held to the fire, Nate. They, and they should be, right? I mean, you look at you look at this and you say, we should we should be looking at all of the things that were greenlit, all the policies that were put in place, all the people that were put in place by Iger. And then realized that there, for an eleven-month period of time, Chappic had some form of control, and yeah. that was it. He was ne he was never given a chance to establish himself to make the right decisions to change things. And when he did, and he changed the structure of the company, he gave them a real chance to kind of shake out all these different elements. But what happens? Mm. He gets he gets kicked out the door, uh, courtesy of the lady that backstabbed him, who's now also kicked out the door. Sure. And yeah, and 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 you end up in a situation where now that same structure that was set was setting failure up is now back in place because of i agree it's you're back to the same old structure this is dumb and it's again why <laughs> i don't get it i don't get it i i'm calling it right now kathleen kennedy's contract will also be renewed <laughs> she's not going yeah. anywhere it'll be i bet you you're right if, if he's sticking around for for another till 2026 and then is still gonna have his his hand in the cookie jar till 2031 yeah. uh i I mean, unless unless she's just done and she wants to leave, I, I don't see her going anywhere. Yeah. Nick, I agree. I agree. Nick, look, we're we're learning every day just how revised all these budgets have to be, to be honest, about yeah. what we spent on the production. Because you know, when we found out we were we they spent more than five hundred million dollars on Force Awakens alone, and that we, there we could get a, a, a refined or a, a readjusted budget for for the last Jedi for um the movie they're still shooting the uh, uh, the rise of soybeans or whatever the hell that mm -hmm. was <laughs> it, 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 someday we're gonna get that and um and and you're gonna realize she never made any money nope yeah well that's, that's not difficult to not difficult to see is it let's be honest yeah. And, and if he's throwing so. if he's throwing Chapek under the bus still when he's not even there, I mean, what a perfect scapegoat Kathleen Kennedy oh, yeah. would be for him with Lucas. Oh yes, you're you know? right. <laughs> you are right, but yeah, they won't they won't do it. They won't do it at all.